We talk about a CNBC TV18 news break that has been confirmed. GMR Infrastructure announces proposed investment of 8,000 crore rupees by Tata Group, GIC, and SSG Capital Management in its airports business. Nisha, who broke the story, is here with us. Nisha, it is confirmed now. That's right, Mangalam. In fact, important details here is that 8,000 crore rupees is being paid by the new investors. Tata Group as well as GIC and SSG in buying out 45% stake in the company um, GMR Airports. Now, there are two bifurcations of this which needs to be carefully looked at. Out of 8,000 crore rupees, 1,000 crore rupees will be the equity infusion in GMR Airports. So that company is getting some cash infusion for its projects as well. And 7,000 crore rupees will uh, be towards the purchase. So a large part of that will be coming in GMR our infrastructure for part of their debt repayment. So this is going to be important. But it's not just that uh, GMR infrastructure has sold its stake. Some of the private equity players have also sold their stake. So a large part of 7,000 crores is coming. We need to work out the numbers on exactly how much. Another important detail to watch out here uh, definitely is going to be uh, the fact that um, 45% is coming in uh, from these investors. 54% is being held by GMR infrastructure. So just they are 4% away from uh, really diluting their control in the company, which is at a threshold, especially considering that this company will require a lot of fundraising for their various fund uh, expansion plans and the greenfield projects that they have on their uh, books at the moment, in their portfolio at the moment. So it's a large transaction coming in, mostly done for monetization of the airport asset, which is the most meaningful asset in GMR infrastructure, which is debt-laden, has over 20,000 crore rupees of debt, and a large part of this around 7,000 crore rupees coming in for GMR infrastructure through this will be utilized for debt repayment, Mangla. Absolutely. Fair point there, Nisha. 20,000 crore plus debt and 8,000 crore rupees coming in will be used to pay debt. Uh, uh, the stock was higher by about 15% yesterday. But hang in there, Nisha. You know, as we had earlier reported that the Mind Tree Board has formed a panel of independent directors to evaluate the unsolicited offer from LNT as well. Take us through what's next uh, uh, in, on the deal and what's been decided by the board. So two important decisions that came out. Buyback will not be... Um, uh going forward at the moment. Mm -hmm. Of course, the LNC as well as uh, VG uh, Siddhartha's deal made any sort of capital stru uh, structure change very difficult. Without a 75% shareholder approval, it's not possible. Okay. Hold. That does not mean that in the future date they will not do it. All IT firms are doing it, so they will also do it. At the moment, they are in the eye of the storm <coughs> of a takeover by a bid by El Arsen and Two Growth. That will be deliberated by the Independent Directors Committee. That is going to recommend the shareholders as well as the board. That is going to be extremely important. Now, three important dates to watch out for. 14th May is when LNT will launch its open offer, subject to all the CCI approvals coming in. Before that, by May 10th, the Independent Directors Committee will have to give their recommendation to the shareholders. For war, where the promoters bring in a white knight or there is a counter offer, that will need to really come in by middle of April as per regulation. So a lot more to really look at in this takeover battle. All right, Nisha, thanks a lot for joining us and giving us all those details. We will keep coming back to you for more.